welcome to the henna soup channel we're going to be talking today about cleansing your hair in a manner that works with ayurvedic healthy hair care and i'm going to be sharing a brand new cleansing recipe with you that you're going to absolutely love Before we get into this exclusive brand new cleansing recipe that I have for you, let's talk a little bit about how you can prepare your hair for your henna hair color and your Ayurvedic herbal hair treatments. First, you can definitely either pre-poo or wash your hair. The difference between those two is a matter of what exactly you're going to be using because some people will definitely need more moisture. So pre-pooing is really good to do. Um, but the great thing about these shampoo bars that I have right here, they're actually very, very, very rich in moisture. They do very a little bit and I'll go through them um, and explain to each one's benefits and how they function. But definitely, these are full of moisture that you can pre-wash your hair with and get a lot of slip and then you could do your henna hair color or your Ayurvedic hair treatment easily. So at Henna Sook, we make all of our shampoo bars. We do not outsource the making of our shampoos. They're all made in-house. We do specialize in Ayurvedic hair care. So all the herbs we have for the products that we make are imported in because they don't grow here in the US. So they have to be imported in. So the first one I have here is the Henna Shampoo Bar. Very rich with moisture, great for someone that's looking for a strengthening shampoo bar treatment um, because of the henna that's in it. And this will not color your hair. Most of the time, the majority of products that have henna in it, it will color your hair. But in forms of like oil infusions, and then in the case of a shampoo bar, there's just not enough henna as a primary ingredient to get you that, you know, that color results. So you can safely use this particular shampoo bar if you want strengthening and you love henna. And that's actually one of our best sellers. Next up, we have the Soap Nut Shampoo Bar, another favorite. Really good with the moisture, you know, good for normal to dry hair strands. But what's great about Soap Nut is that it's clarifying. So all the products that we make are treatments. They're actually treating your hair, healing your hair, repair, nourishing, all that good stuff. So Soap Nut is really great for clarifying. And because mm, it has peppermint essential oil in it, it's really invigorating. It just is like, opens everything up. It's one of my favorites. Next, we have, ooh, Coco Vada. You would be amazed at how many herbs go into this. Five Ayurvedic strengthening herbs and scalp treatments, really good. And we blend this shampoo with coconut milk. Yes, coconut milk. It is so nourishing. It's got mm, that ginger essential oil that is just so stimulating. This is a great one for dry hair. You guys will love it. Now, if you're just looking for all that good moisture, just nice every day, you know, whenever you do wash your hair, weekly treatment, your go-to bar. This one, mm, this one's your mad moisture, full of moisture. Ooh, this one bubbles up a lot for a shampoo bar. So shampoo bars don't typically get that really bubbly effect because it's SLS free. So you won't get that, those kind of, you know, foam boosters and all those chemical ingredients. It's just pure, natural, raw ingredients. Yes, shampoo bars are made with lye. So most people get nervous and like, oh, there's lye in it. Oh, it must be a chemical. The way to make soap, like truly make soap, the real way cold press soap is made, you have to have lye. There's no way to join water and oils in a happy couple. They won't be happy without the lye. So the great thing with that whole process is the lye like evaporates out, you know, it, it, it becomes non-existing 
at the end. So it really does, it's really interesting. All those who love science, that's a really, really interesting scientific knowledge for you. If you didn't already know, but Mad Moisture, Moisture Packed, definitely a good, good one. And then we have Moroccan Clay. Ooh, this is a shampoo bar infused with Rasul Clay. So very detoxifying, really, really good. And mm, lavender, this one smells like lavender. This is great for like normal hair and great treatment. This shampoo bar is a great one to have. And then, ooh, this is an, a big favorite. This one people love, our Sweet Honey Shampoo Bar. It's infused with cassia and honey. Yes, raw honey goes right into this formulation. And the cassia and, oh, don't forget that lemongrass. Man, that lemongrass. This one is a favorite. So if you are anywhere from, you know, almost oily to normal. That's a really good bar to have on hand. If you find delicate hair strands, this is a great one to have. And last but not least, we have one with no essential oils for those who have sensitive skin and hair and, and really don't want to have any essential oils. Just run a pure, clean shampoo bar. And this one, this argan oil one, yes, infused with argan oil from Morocco. It is great for your face, yes. And even if you shave and you can use this, this gives you a lot of slip. It's a great bar to have. Oh, the Argan oil, Moroccan, mm. And it's, like I said, there's no essential oil, so it's, it's very clean, very just fresh, plain type of bar. It's amazing. Uh, must have, especially if you love to wash your face with soap, but more of a natural soap. This is great. And they do go a long way. The great thing about these bars is you can cut like a piece and I'll show you here. You can cut a piece at a time. All right, all right, all right. So here we have one of the shampoo bars, cold press natural shampoo bar. <laughs> you can cut pieces of this bar at a time, maybe do like fourths or thirds, and then use a bit at a time and just store the rest of it in a box. Um, and you can keep it in a cool, dark place, you know, relatively, it's not gonna melt on you. But the thing is that you don't wanna keep it soaking in water. You don't want it to be, cause it'll cause it to like melt. It'll just kind of dissolve faster. So definitely, you know, keep it dry when you're not using it. So this is what the shampoo bar looks like. And if you want to grab some shampoo bars, just go to our website and you can shop for these amazing shampoo bars. If you buy more than one, you also get a discount. Now let's talk about a different way to cleanse your hair in an Ayurvedic healthy hair care method. So let's say you pre-pooed and pre-pooing is when you use a very moisturizing wash. You know, it could either be the shampoo bars or perhaps you're using like a henna gloss bar as a pre-poo because it has a lot more moisture. It depends on the level of moisture you need. And just as you go through trial and error through Ayurvedic Healthy Hair Care, you'll discover like what works for your hair and what doesn't work for your hair. So again, always keep track. Don't forget to use your hair journal because that way you can keep track and just know all your recipes and formulations and everything that was working well for you and what didn't work well for you and keep on using the things that you know your hair responds really well to. So what I have here is I have some Cassia Ovovada. A lot of people don't know that this is such a super cleansing herb. If you've ever mixed this up and seen a little bit of like bubbles, that's kind of like the cleansing agents of it. Um, but it definitely has a lot of cleansing benefits. So Cassia Ovovada is really good for gentle cleansing. And I've also gotten some shikakai powder, another must-have cleansing herb. Really great for your hair. Really, really good. Love this one. And then I also have some Moroccan Rasul clay. And the Moroccan Rasul clay is being added to this particular recipe because I've always wanted to mix in more clay recipes for you guys. And it's also really detoxifying and just smooth. I just can't wait to see how it's gonna come out. It's gonna be really cool, I'm really excited. 
and so those are the three ingredients that gonna, I'm gonna use, but I do have some aloe vera powder because I wanna make it a little bit more moisturizing. If you happen to be allergic to aloe vera powder, that's okay. You can use um, like a hair oil, really good hair oil that your hair loves. You can add it to this uh, mix. You can add essential oils, but this is gonna be the base of your recipe for sure. So. Let's get into it, let's start mixing. I'm going to be posting the full details of this particular recipe in the description below. So don't worry, you can copy and paste it and follow the exact recipe down below. But here we have some cassia obovada. I'm, my goal right now is to make about 100 grams total. And 100 grams is good for about shoulder length hair. Great thing about this recipe is if you have any leftovers, you can freeze it and you use it next time. So it's really not going to get wasted at all, which is another great, great benefit to Ayurvedic healthy hair care. You can freeze leftovers and use it again later. And you're really going to be getting your money's worth too, because Ayurvedic healthy hair care should be really affordable easy, simple, and get you the results that you're looking to achieve. So here's your cassia. And now I'm gonna add in some shakakai powder. And then I am adding in some of the rasul clay. Yes. So you have all your powders in this bowl and now you're gonna mix them really well. This is great. And you don't need a lot of aloe vera powder for this recipe. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons. That's a great thing about aloe vera powder. In, in the form of a powder, it's really, really concentrated and it goes a long way. So you mix it really well. And we're gonna keep it very simple by using warm to hot distilled water. Uh, another great ingredient I could recommend for cleansing would be aloe vera juice. That would be really good as well. But remember, you don't want to go too crazy with these different recipes that you might see online or different things that are being tried because, you no know, trial and error is great and, it, and it's, I really always highly recommend that you all tap into your creativity and try new things and whatnot. But when it does come to professionally you know, doing henna and Ayurvedic healthy hair care, following like, the basic in instructions is gonna be really, really important because those basic instructions are going to get you the results that you want for your hair. So that being said, I really recommend warm to hot distilled water and aloe vera juice as the two choices. You can actually use a little bit of both if you'd like to, but you don't want to use really any other liquids or ingredients because you want to get the benefits from these particular ingredients. You know, keeping it simple actually keeps it more focused on the results because once you start adding other things and stretching the whole recipe out, you're not going to get those same results. So it's key to kind of keep it simple, you know, keeping it simple. You see as I mix it, how there is this bubbling happening? Yes, it's cleansing properties. All of these beautiful, amazing cleansing properties are all in this recipe. And it's so creamy and smooth. Wow, look at this guys. This is a smooth recipe. It's still a little thick. I actually don't really recommend that you all make your recipes really, really too thin. Um, thinning it out may be easier to apply, but it could make it runny. And again, you're stretching out the benefits. I find like a nice like batter <laughs> of Ayurvedic like treatments like this in, a, in the mask form that you're gonna be using this in, um, that you kind of mix it like in a nice consistency of maybe, you know, thick yogurt, maybe a tiny bit thinner but don't go too, too thin because you want to get also good layering of the mask as well. Yeah, this is a really good consistency. This is really good. Not too runny, 
See, it kind of falls off the spoon. This is a consistency you are looking for. It's also easier to apply when it's not too thin. In my, in my opinion, I just find it goes on really well. You get a good saturation and layering of this mask and treatment on your hair. And remember, it's not just your hair. You are going to be getting this to your scalp as well. You should have this touching and cleansing your scalp. Ideally, that's what we best. So if you're in a protective style or um, you know, have some that's something that you just can't get to your scalp, try your best to get to your scalp and then wash it out really, really well. Everyone can use this mask. It's a really gentle, mild mask. It's not it's going to be too strong. It should not be drying whatsoever. It'll be a really nice, well-balanced mask. So you can use it for all hair types, all hair textures. If you use relaxers, if you have locks, you can definitely use this, no problem. Okay, this is really convenient to do in the shower. So do it in between when you're washing your body. So let's say, you know, you, you know how you wet your hair, you don't get it all, you know, wet, and then apply this mask, because apl applying it onto damp hair strands in general makes it go on so much easier. And it's really, like I mentioned, convenient to do in, in the shower because if you get any drippies, it'll just go right down the drain. Place this all into your hair, leave it in, for like what five ten minutes and that really should be plenty if you want to do the cleansing treatment when you're not in the shower you can leave it in 20 to 30 minutes um you know you, that would be sufficient that would be enough and then you would wash it all out once you've washed this mask all out you definitely want to moisturize while your hair is damp ideally because then you will lock in more moisture and then if your hair needs more of a sealant like coconut oil or any of the products that you use that are is more of a sealant definitely use that and then you can dry and style as you normally would and there you have it the brand new Ayurvedic cleansing recipe we had some great discussions about the shampoo bars I hope that you will let me know how it turned out did you like it? Did it work well? Did you make some adjustments? Did you play around with it a little? You know, whatever you may have done, whatever you have, may have played around with, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. And also, I want to know, what is your favorite shampoo bar? Which of our shampoo bars do you like the most? A tip I almost forgot before I leave you. Let me let you know that when it comes to shampoo bars, there is a time of sometimes transition for your hair or your hair to get used to the shampoo bars. Sometimes for some people, they feel like that it's a little bit drying or either not drying for some reason, their hair just doesn't react. I think it's the, mostly the herbs that are in here sometimes or maybe the particular ingredient. You know, you may be sensitive to certain ingredients and not even know it yet. Or some people find that majority of the time what people will say, especially if their hair is not on the dry side, that it left their hair feeling very heavy and very oily and they couldn't get it out. So when it comes to shampoo bars, some of you will need either to still use a conditioner, which we have a cleansing co-wash at hennasook.com, or you can use an ACV rinse. For those of you not familiar with an ACV and what that is, it's apple cider vinegar rinse for your hair. And that will help balance it out because sometimes your hair just needs balancing because this is a lot of moisture. There you have it. Thank you for joining me every week. You guys make me so excited to get on here and do a new video. Also, two things I wanna say. We have two new courses coming out very, very soon that you guys are gonna be super excited about. And mark your calendars, because we're celebrating 15 years as a brand. Hannah Sook, yes, has been in existence since 2005. We have been around sharing henna hair color, Ayurvedic healthy hair care, gorgeous henna body art, been at the shows with you all these years, 15 years. So save the date, September 26th, we're going to be having an amazing, fun live party on YouTube with a special performance. Ooh, you guys don't know who it is. It's a Grammy nominated performer. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm gonna see you guys soon. Thank you so much. See you next time.